I'm Veer Dixon-Smith. I'm originally from South Africa. I then immigrated to New Zealand and uh, I've now ended up in Mentawai. I've been in Mentawai Islands for about six years. I'm 52 years old. So I had a 20-year career in finance and an opportunity came along where I was offered to run a surf resort in Mentawai Islands and uh, at the time it wasn't really the perfect opportunity because of my family situation but uh, having spoken to my boys at the time I was a solo dad um, they kind of agreed that this would be one of those opportunities that I should take up. I just always remember thinking that I didn't want to be that guy when he gets to his 80s or 90s and looks back on his life and gone, I should have done that thing. And I kind of thought, well, if I do it and it doesn't work out, I can just go back to my old life. But it worked out pretty good and I'm still here. So this part of Mentawai is, uh, I really love all the waves and for many years it was very difficult for me to say which one was my favorite because all of the waves are really good for different things, different reasons, like depends what kind of surf you're looking for, if you want fun waves or whatever. Almost every time we turn up to a spot I would always say to the guests, ah oh, this is my favorite wave, this is my favorite wave. But over the years I've kind of realized more and more like what I'm leaning more towards and my favorite wave in Mentawai is by far rifles. Um, and a very close second is bank vaults. But when rifles is on, that's, that's the jewel in the crown for me. That's like, I would drop everything to go and surf rifles. Yeah, okay, so this year was, uh, was a bit of a shock because um, I did suffer a double heart attack and uh, it was completely unexpected, I suppose, as any heart attack is. I was out here on the island by myself because all my crew had gone home. Yeah, I was pretty much here by myself and there was no transport back to Padang. So I kind of survived through two nights by myself before I could actually get to a hospital. But to answer your question, yeah, I'd, I'd had a stent put in and there's been no change in my physical ability whatsoever. If anything, I'm even surfing more. If I have any advice to anybody who's had a heart attack and, is, and enjoys surfing, I would be as long as you stick to what you've been told by your doctor, etc., your life can be normal. Like my life, I don't feel any impairment on my life or my ability. I mean, you've seen me surfing. We're surfing nearly six hours a day and yeah, nothing's changed. <laughs> the best advice I can give you is maybe, maybe work in the place or work in the area for a year or two, get a good idea of what you're actually dealing with. Uh, because, especially in a place that's as remote as North Mentawai, there's no streets here, there's no shops. There's many complications that come up. You have to be creative with solutions. So I'd say work in the place first, because although you might want to start a surf resort, a surf camp, maybe you actually want to start it somewhere else. Like, whatever the location is, whether you're in South America or Mexico or whatever, maybe work there first and see what it's like living in that place and dealing with business in that area. And maybe start a surf camp there or you might realize you need to start it somewhere else. If it's a passion that you have and it's a dream that you believe in, I would say always follow your dream. I don't miss civilization one bit. During this pandemic, it's been pretty tough on business. I have to say, for me, it's been more of a paradise because uh, I quite enjoy having no crowds, no people around. I don't miss civilization at all. People can keep their flat whites and everything like that. I'm quite happy here with my little sunset waves and uh, spearfishing. From Indonesia, probably my best one is the beef rendang. I love a beef rendang that's done properly and uh, that's number one. 